It's no secret that in the past, winning and Weehawken football have not exactly been synonymous. Victories for the home team at picturesque Weehawken Stadium have been few and far between. But now in 2011, there's a whole new buzz in this Hudson County town, and it centers around their energetic new AD and head coach, Zach Nazimento. Run over there, defense on that side, walk through. Let's go. We got a guy underneath on the slant. You got a Will Backer to get underneath the slant route. But if you go inside and they jam everything up and he breaks contain, then you're in trouble. The big uh, buzz going around is with our new coach, how he's going to be, and it feels great. Now everybody knows us now in town, who we are. You know, the whole team feels real confident. The coach is amazing. We uh, start, it started out with the weight room, being on top of everything, and just from there on, it's been excellent. I, I look at it like a, a great opportunity. I don't look at it as a, uh, a negative uh, a negative way at all. I, I think that we believe in what we do. We believe in the weight room. We believe in the, uh, the hard work that we put in. And we expect to see results. I was hired in February to, uh, to be the football coach. And I've been in the weight room with these kids since February 17th consistently. Not once in a while. It's been a four or five day program since February. The other big part of this story is the father-son, assistant coach, head coach combination of Zach Nazimento and his dad, Bruce Nazimento, the Indians' offensive coordinator. Well, I asked him like twice, are you sure you want me to come with you? You know, and he said, yeah, I want you to come with you. Well, one thing is respect. I mean, I, you know, I appreciate him saying that. And, you know, being with my son is, is such a blessing you know, to be with him every day. And, and you want to know something? It's his time. It's his turn. So it's great to be with him. And uh, I interject things at different times. <laughs> but uh, he knows what he's doing. You know, he, 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 he's paid his dues. He's been around really good people. And uh, like a Eddie Stinson, like a Mike Miello. And uh, he's ready. Since I'm, since I'm born, I mean, uh, you know, he took me to practice since I'm a little kid and I've always been with him, been on the sidelines, everywhere he's coached. He's been coaching almost 40 years himself. So football is kind of, you know, our common uh, interest. Weehawken has already equaled its win total of 2010 by winning its opening game over Woodridge. Despite last year's one and nine season, the Indians under this new regime are determined to show that this is not the same old Weehawken. Well, we hope to accomplish to go into the state and play in the big time stadium and get our name out there and have everybody knows who Weehawken finally is. I hope that this program uh, can be something that is uh, consistent. I'm looking for stability. And you know, you win, you win, you win. You, it's not always about that. I think. I think that we have such a nice vibe and a buzz going right now, even with our rec programs, that, uh, you know, it's fun. Football should be fun, you know? I mean, it, and, and it don't happen by accident. It takes a lot of work, but it should be fun. And, um, you know, I guess that's my message. I think I'm almost like uh, the kids look at me. I think that they think, you know, that this is uh, consistency. There's consistency. There's a, there's a foundation. There's something stable that they can kind of grab onto and believe in. And uh, I guess that's what I'm hoping to accomplish. 